everyone. I'm Joe Gazin. Katya is off tonight. We're going to have those stories and more in a moment. But first, some developing news out of Portland, where police have just released a composite sketch of the person they believe to be the suspect in the recent murder of a 19-year-old girl. The details are first at 10 tonight. Here's the sketch. It was developed with the help of an eyewitness to the attack. The single suspect is an Anglo male in his 20s, 5 foot 8 inches tall, 140 pounds, thin build with brown hair. Portland police believe this man is responsible for the shooting death of 19-year-old Molly Judith Olgan and the aggravated assault of her girlfriend, 18-year-old Mary Christine Chapa. It happened nearly two weeks ago in a Portland city park. Chapa, who was also shot in the attack, is still in critical condition. If you know or you think you know who the suspect might be, you should call the Portland Police Department at the number there at the bottom of the screen, 777-4444. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the sketches, so if you look at the first sketch, it definitely does look like Spellman, um, especially if you look at the eyes and the nose. Um, second sketch doesn't look as much like Spellman. It looks a bit more like Strickland. But then you also notice with the hair on the second sketch and also the nose. So if you look at Strickland's nose, his nose is like a lot wider down the bottom. And also with the hair, his hair goes to the left side. So he kind of brushes over to the to the right to the to the opposite side of what the sketch has. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. David Strickland's family believes new evidence will exonerate him. Strickland is serving a life sentence for the June 2012 shootings of Molly Olguin and Christine Chapa. Now, Olguin died from her injuries while Chapa survived. Strickland was arrested nearly two years after the shooting. A San Patricio County jury convicted him in September of 2016. Chris 6 News reporter Greg Chandler joins us in the studio. And Greg, you spoke with Strickland's mother today, and she believes her son was wrongfully convicted. Yeah, that's right, Paulo. Linda Strickland says her son's attorneys have kept her from talking about this case in the past. But with new evidence, she believes now is the time to tell her son's side of the story. Now, during Strickland's trial, prosecutors pointed at two pieces of evidence. One, shell casings found at the scene matched Strickland's gun. And two, parts of a letter which detailed specifics of the crime that only the killer would know were found on Strickland's computer. However, Strickland's team says DNA evidence found at the scene points to another suspect one police had previously talked to. The bottom line is David Strickland did not do this horrific thing. He was blamed for it, but he did not do it. And Linda Strickland says her family hired a private detective who, whose work does prove that her son is innocent. She also says the evidence prosecutors used to convict her son was inconclusive. I'll have much more on this story coming up tonight at 10. Paula. All right, Greg Chandler reporting in studio and Strickland's defense team has appealed his conviction. They're waiting for the courts to decide if his case will be retried.